Hey you guys, Nick, aka The One Only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an outro in Final Cut Pro. Now, first off, you are going to need some kind of outro. I'm going to be using this one right here, and I will be providing a sample outro in the description. It will not be this one. It will not be as good as this one. I would recommend going out, finding a professional GFX artist to make one for you, but there will be one for you to use, just a general one in the description. Um, you will need Photoshop to make changes and add your social links like this over here and whatnot, but all in all, it should work for you. Nevertheless, once you've got an outro, how do we make it work, basically, in Final Cut? Well, first off, when you boot up Final Cut, it's going to look something like this. You're going to need to import your media. For me, simply click Import Media. It's going to take a second, open it up. I need my external hard drive, known as the Phantom. And from here, we need to go into the YouTube folder, the The Crisis Why Teach folder, which is the old game name for my channel. And then we need to go into the graphics folder, outro graphics, and then boom, current Nick's Games outro, import selected. Once you've done that, add it to the existing event that you'll have stock every time you open up Final Cut. Boom, there's that. You also need to create a new project. In this case, we'll just put it tut. New project will be tut. Simply do that by clicking the create new project there. Now, once you've got this, you want to drag and drop it onto your timeline so just click it drag it down here to the timeline and place it now it, it has all of this stuff the properties of this clip are not recognized click ok and we'll use this so that's going to be 720p 60 frame rate that's not really what you want you want it to be 30 or 29.97 so i'm gonna go ahead and change that hit ok Boom. Once you have that, now your outro is in place. However, how do we put these videos here? Well, that's pretty simple, too. We want to right-click up here and want to import media. And what you're going to do is find the videos that you want to put in your outro. All right, so you're going to need two clips. I'm going to use these Nick and Patrick clips. I'm going to click here or whatever videos you're using. Click here, click here, and then I'm also going to go down here into my gameplay, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, sure. And we'll control click that, and then we actually have to come back up here and click those. Import selected media. Bam. Import. It's going to load. All right, so now you have your three videos, whatever they may be here. So let's go ahead and pull this Nick and Patrick video. Go ahead and pull it down. And we want to put it directly over our outro. We also want to do this and repeat this process with the rest of the videos that we want. Now, my MacBook is literally about to explode so I'm going to let these files render out and I'll meet you back exactly how you see it whenever I drag this final clip. It's going to be the exact same. Nothing will change. It'll just have uh, the rendering done, which is this yellow stuff right here. Orange stuff will be gone. So I'll meet you guys whenever that's done. So once that render is done, whenever that render is now finished for me, we need to detach the audio from all these clips. Really simple to do. Right click on each clip and then click detach audio. Do this for every single clip that's here, and in this case three times, and then one, two, three, there you go. Now scroll down, and here's the audio. We need to delete these, so just click on them, and then hit Command X on your keyboard. All the way down through here, until now, boom, all of the audio is gone. We also want to make sure that this ends with the outro, or whenever we want it to end. Let's actually make this outro Let's actually make it about 30 seconds long. So now we hit B, and we just click here, here, and here. Okay, again, I hit B to do that, and then I clicked where I wanted to cut the, uh, the video. Now you want to hit A on your keyboard, and then click on each individual clip that's left on the side that you don't want. Click on the clips you don't want, and hit Command X on all of those as well. And that's going to cut all of those clips out. Last but not least, you also will have a compound clip right here that doesn't have anything. That actually does need to be deleted, just like the other ones, Command X, when you click on it. So now we have all of these videos. But as you can see, we can't see our intro. We see the top video. Now how do we fix this? Well, select the video you want to crop out, is what this is called. You want to crop. Select that video, and then click this button right here. When you click that, you just want to drag it and make it as small as... As, uh, as possible, oh, I flipped it, okay, make it as small as possible, just click the corner here, and then just drag it inward, now, because of how the outro graphic is, we have three videos, we're going to have to click on each individual video, and crop it, before we can actually get to the actual cropping the size, if you will, but, this is a start, so there's that, and then the last one real quick, 
you know, I'm actually going to have to click that twice, click that again, and then drag this down. So now we can actually drag this to scale, click on the actual video itself, and you can move it by just dragging it, and then just make that smaller. And we're going to work our way down until it fits in the correct location, if you will. And so make that smaller, drag it down, make it even more smaller, that's too small. It's going to be probably about that size. Yeah, that'll work there. It's a good estimate, I think. And then, now we want to work our way back up. So we can do this video, make it the appropriate size, and then drag it over here once it's the appropriate size, make it like that. Still a little too big, make that smaller. Still a little too big, make it smaller. And that should work there. Get that centered. And then last but not least, click on the last video you want to add into your outro here. And then just drag and make that smaller. Put that in the correct video slot. And there you guys have it. Your outro is now done in Final Cut Pro. When you're ready to export and all that, you simply click this and then click Master File. But, right there, but that isn't what this video is about. It's about how to do an outro and... Uh, Final Cut Pro, and there you guys have it. That's how you can do an outro in Final Cut Pro 10. That's how you event pan crop. And whenever you're all set and done, just click that button again. It's actually called Transform, but click it again, and then there you guys have it. It will render it out right there, and you can also check your render processes right here. And then uh, whenever that's done, you'll be ready to export and get on the go. So there you guys have it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is Crisis Craft, uh, my weekly Minecraft series in Minecraft 1.7.4. In that episode, I built an epic farm. Go check it out. And on the right is how to hook up an Xbox 360 or Xbox One to a monitor. I teach you how to do that using HDMI as well as using other things like, you know, DVI and all that shit, so go check it out. Also, check out my daily vlog at the bottom center of your screen. That's actually some of the clips that I used in this video. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.